All right, Poodle family, we are here. We are live, and like every live show, there has to be something that you have to figure out how to get. So we're trying to connect our guest right now, and uh, oh, here we go. A guest is coming in, so uh, so our guest is in. That's it, so that's good. We are now in, and I'm making sure that we're all good over there on that side, so I started a little minute late, but uh, we'll be bringing our guest in in just a second here, um, but uh, I want to go over a few things with everybody. Um, what a week. So, so much of a week. I have to support, uh, I got to support the shirt uh, in the office today because, wow, we had an amazing week with Poodle. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. Uh, so, first thing, New tokenomics. Um, is that not crazy? Uh, we were at two. We go to 10. We're back at two. We have all of this stuff going on. Um, so that deserves an episode just of itself to talk about. And I will talk about it. And But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about it next week. So next week's show, I want you to make sure you tune in. I'm going to talk about the economics of of tokenomics. What does it mean, right? We all voted, and that's the cool thing about this token is that we voted as a a family of how we should run the economics of it. Um, And so we've been moving this around, and that's kind of the cool thing about this. So I'm going to talk about the different ways this impacts us, what that means for your investment and all of that. So uh, make sure you hang on for that next week. Wow, yeah, so that, that's really exciting. Um, and we will go over all that. I'll really explain how economics works and where this, uh, where you know your distribution and all of that actually impacts uh, people selling and buying and looking at that and comparing it to uh, basically the stock market and other types of investments and maybe other tokens that you've heard of having a lot of extra uh, taxation. So we'll talk about that next week uh, when we get going. So um, sorry, I'm looking over here and all right. Um, He's got, all right, so we're, we're going to get with our, our guest in just a minute, but one more thing to talk about. Last week, I did an episode um, about uh, shilling, about what you can do to go out there and get, and just get, um, get you, our stuff out there getting known, how you can promote your own investment. And so I put a challenge out there. I said, all right, I want people to go on to four different uh, platforms. I want you to shill a poodle cast, build this up, and I will then take somebody and I will take out of my own bag and give out 500 million tokens, basically kind of my distribution for the last uh, couple weeks here. So... um, we did this. I ran it right before we hit it, and I kind of I did the uh, this hashtag game. And I just got to say that I just the thing I love about this token is the way that we always have a way of supporting one another. And so, all right. Well, every, the person who won, I'll just come right to it. She was already a guest on the show. L. Um, Here's a cool thing. Um, she actually sent me a message last week after this was done and gave proof and said, I, if I win, I want you to put uh, transfer this to uh, the charity uh, wallet. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so I pulled this right before. That will be going into our charity wallet on behalf of the winner, our Schiller winner, Elsa. Wow, uh, just uh, amazing. So Thank you for that. Thank you, everyone, for playing along with that. Uh, Incredible week. So I'm seeing here, uh, I got to see, I'm looking over to the side, and I think we're about ready to bring our guest on. So I'm going to say that's going to be a yes. Um, Give me one second here. So your audio is coming up, and I'm going to end up sharing the screen. I can see the share. I see the settings. I'm going to go ahead and start sharing if that's good. Okay. Can you guys hear me though? Yeah, we've got you. We've got you. Okay, awesome. All right. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out my mic settings. I haven't, haven't used it in a few years. so. No problem. No problem at all. Um, all right. Well, I guess uh, welcome to the show. Jay, uh, just uh, tell, um, tell everyone who you are, what you do, and 
what, you know, well, we're going to get into the what is this thing, but just introduce yourselves first. Well, uh, um, uh, Jay, and first, is the audio good? Because it's like yeah. a really uh, sensitive mic. Oh, you're, you're coming in solid. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so uh, I'm Jay. I'm uh, one of the developers and designers of uh, Crypto Kicks. So we make uh, physical wearables um, for basically uh, the crypto community, you know, the crypto niche. I mean, um, it's also connected with NFT. So the idea kind of came, you know, with uh, the NFTs. Everyone has NFTs, right? Yeah. Well, um, ex explain what that is for people who maybe don't know. Yeah. So NFTs are uh, basically um, visual tokens, you know, kind of like stocks. You know, you can't really you can't really visually see them. They're just like numbers on a screen. Right. So uh, now we've we've advanced uh, so far that we've we've made this thing into a visual uh, a visual thing that's also unique Uh basically uh, nfts stand for non-fungible tokens um <clears throat> sorry so one of the things uh is that we're doing uh physical nfts as well so pnfts mm -hmm. which are pretty old but you know uh now they're 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 starting to pop up everywhere yeah but yeah that's that's what we're trying to do and uh, we're also trying to um not just uh be the custom like shoe we're also trying to uh, well, we already did, but we're we're making them tech infused, so um, they're going to be compatible with uh, your phone and uh, eventually crypto. That is pretty awesome. So, what does that mean? So, well, I guess first walk through. So, someone goes in and they 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 can buy the NFT, and then they can reach out and actually get the shoe, the physical shoe made. Is that right? Like how, and then there's also a virtual version of it. So what does somebody get? Can you walk through what that is? So if, uh, if you're, you're in the market, basically, you know, you, you love your, uh, your Dodge coins or your poodle tokens uh, so much, you, you know, you want to get a shirt or, you know, something or a hat. Um, so in this case, these are, these are custom shoes. And uh, basically, uh, we're on uh, OpenSea. You you mint a you mint the NFT, which goes directly to your MetaMask or a Trust Wallet. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> we basically send you that, and then uh, we work on your uh, your custom your custom shoe and have that shipped over. Now that and is that, pretty that, awesome. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, oh. that comes with all the all the other goodies. Uh, down the road that we're working on so it's, you know it's, it's gonna be pretty exciting yeah for, for the gamers and all those those tech those tech people yeah and that's the thing is we a few uh, a few shows back we were kind of talking about this and and getting the idea of like you can now kind of own your clothes say in your gaming world or your and wear these around like is that obviously you don't just come up with that overnight is this something that um, is kind of moving in the direction, the gaming world, uh, the, the online world. How do you come up with something like that? And do you see this being the future of clothing, virtual clothing too? Um, well, if, if we go down, you know, this, this, well, if it allows it, you know, because, you know, we could only do this with, uh, with the internet and technology, but um, I, I think so. I mean, for fashion, um, I think for companies like Amazon and all those people trying to, well, all those people that are here, like Nike, um, I think people are going to want to see the product before they buy. And there's already, there's already tools out there. Um, they could see the product in your house, you know? So that's, I think uh, crypto is, is going to get there now or is already there. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're just going to take over. Yeah, no, I love this. And what I think is cool is one thing that I've been saying uh, early, especially about meme tokens, is that the the value of something like that is the um, is the. Uh, by the way, we can see your whole screen just just so you know if you're going through. Oh screen. no, Make yeah, sure. I was gonna all put right. That Making demo sure you're you you're putting that up there. All right, um, is oh there we go. Yeah, I was trying to get that demo. Here we go. Here, I'll give everyone a chance to kind of watch that. So that's like no editing. That's all in real time. That's pretty cool. 
And then, so that becomes an <clears throat> augmented reality within your real shoes. That That is pretty yeah. sweet. Uh, um, so now, um, one thing, uh, this is what I was saying, is that, that I believe that the value of a meme token is in its branding. And that's really where we're going to be able to give it something that means something in the future, right? As opposed to, you know, maybe a, a physical stock or something that exists in real life. If you buy a collectible or, you know, you buy a comic book that exists and has value over time, well, a token can have value based on its brand and brand recognition is important. So how can something like this, like Crypto Kicks, then bring, say, a, cum a community? So talk to our community as a Poodle community of how that can bring them together and what value that can end up bringing, say, their investment to in the long run by being able to support this. Well, right now, uh, Poodle, we, we have some uh, a few NFTs out there, right? Mm -hmm. um, anybody could go out there and buy them on OpenSea and a bakery swap. Uh, so what we plan to do is add another, uh, like another area of NFTs for them, which is not just going to be shoes. It's going to be, you know, other wearables, uh, down the road as our technology progresses. Cause I mean, we're, we're, we're not that, uh, we're not that old, but our technology is, is kind of, it's kind of old. We we've, we've had this code and then we kind of just pieced it together, but for, uh, yeah, for Poodle, we plan on working with them, uh, uh, long-term. So we're going to see uh, basically, uh, you know, they're also going to have their own virtual uh, NFTs, uh, which you could see without even buying first, you know, like in your, uh, like uh, Sasha was saying, uh, one of the poodle, one of the poodle guys, um, you could see maybe a poodle living in your, uh, or running around and living in your living room or in your house, basically. So it would be <laughs> just a unique item in inside your house basically so i think that's pretty cool having having a pet and i don't i don't think uh, anyone else is doing this right now so that is rad see i just need i need this guy walking around i need the wall street bet yeah guy, there you, you know go. With, with the poodle yeah. head walking around my house right doing yeah, just, my dishes uh, greeting you he would greet you as soon as you come in you know just like hey man how, how you doing joe hey <laughs> that would be pretty rad um but i your fun it's funny thing is is that probably is the future right i mean there is a sense that our our lives are are spent a lot between um you know say our digital world and our real world. But I think the next step is actually connecting those two worlds, right? And being able to have things like augmented reality, which is, you know, what I spent do in, in real life. I do a lot with augmented reality and stuff in the higher education space. So I can see there being value in this, both entertainment wise, but also even investment wise and education wise and all this, there's a lot of opportunities um, within that. So can you talk a little bit about, you know, you said this technology has existed. I mean, what is the technology that you're, you're using? How does it work? What, what got you the idea to even connect it to the crypto world? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So for myself, I've, uh, been in the, you know, been coding for quite a while now. Uh, you know, it's like an indie developer, uh, mostly in, uh, java and c plus plus but i've also you know dabbled a few in video games so that's i think uh, if you're if you're a coder if you're a young uh, programmer out there you should try to like build games uh, because everything else is just you know boring as hell but <laughs> um yeah so we were working on this uh, i don't know back when like apps you know were were the thing you know when like angry birds and all that back <laughs> in what was that like 2000 eight or something yeah 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 so th this tech didn't come out to like i think google announced it uh the um the augmented reality stuff um i think it was like 2015 or something mm -hmm. uh so yeah we you know we picked it up used it but didn't really have like any use case for it you know mm -hmm. um i mean there was a use case but it was just really hard to do and now you know like a couple years later there's there's more uh there's more tutorials there's more people using it so now we have more people talking about it so now we have questions answered right yeah so uh now it's just easier for us to just connect everything with crypto and 
you know, games. And personally, I think crypto and games, that's, that's basically the future, you know, Mm -hmm. Um, because stocks, yeah, we're trying to copy stocks. Bitcoin was trying to copy stocks, but that's just the beginning, you know, then, then, uh, then came Bad Lake and uh, with Ethereum, right? Yeah. And uh, try to make the whole, try to make, try to make the, the, uh, the D apps and all that a thing. And then that's where we are right now. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I think we're, we're heading towards, uh, uh, yeah, the, the games as, as like uh, the form of money. Um, totally. Not necessarily just games, but the way uh, doing something to make something, you know, yeah. uh, using technology. And uh, before, yeah, we, we were all into games. We're all playing games, but we're not earning anything. So mm-hmm. now we have crypto and now everyone is going to want to, you know, be part of this. And then now we have NFT. So now everyone's going to have their own little avatars and want to own a piece of, you know, the, the crypto virtual metaverse space, you know? Yeah, no, I, I totally love this. And I think kind of what's cool is you can see this being a ni- a good a step into even... Um, virtual transactions too. I mean, if you're wearing something and you have, I mean, I just see that if you've got a pair of the shoes on, it makes a way. One thing we hear a lot with meme tokens is people, you know, how do I even buy it? You know, I can't go on Coinbase or, you know, what Kraken or whatever, but, and buy it, I have to do multiple steps. So I can see how we could use this as a bridge into helping people buy, helping the brand grow, um, also as virtual payment methods. I mean, it, it's not far off from being, you know, as simple as your Apple Pay, right? And I think that there's a lot of things that we can start doing with that and using actual, you know, the actual currency, the Poodle token in a virtual world, in a gaming system or something along those lines that allow you to do that. So, is that are things like that part of the roadmap? You said you know right now you get the shoes. What are the things that are coming down the road if you can talk about them? You know, but uh, what what kind of things are we going to look forward to? Can you give me a second? Yep. It's the suspense. The suspense grows as the silence grows. Sorry about that. What was the what was the question? No, so just, uh, just very so yeah. Briefly. Yeah, so what what are the things that you're looking at down the road? You said more is to come. So if you buy something, you get the added, you know, the perks that are coming. So what are those things? If you're able to talk about them, I know some of them you might be keeping under wrap, but what are those things to come? Uh, as, as for for the poodle community, or yeah, as, yeah, for the poodle, or, or just the product in general. Um, for poodle, I see I see a lot more merch. Um, definitely a lot more uh, a lot more. Uh, tech tech related stuff like games and uh yeah i think uh i think poodle's gonna it's gonna do good with video games <laughs> yeah but i think uh as for us yeah i think we're gonna go down that route uh, we're gonna try to uh connect wearables uh using your phone basically you're gonna be able to go out just imagine going out to the grocery store and just picking up your phone and people were all will already have their NFTs attached to their to their geolocation, let's say. <laughs> so you just bring up your phone, you just scan, and yeah, you're gonna see everyone just having their own like avatar on them or their mm-hmm. crypto kicks or you know their their poodle gear. And uh, that that's that's what we see ourselves doing. Yeah. Um, initially with the, with all the funding that we're getting for the shoes and and all that, that's basically going going on into the, the tech for crypto kicks. Yeah, I love that because I can totally see that, you know, I've got my 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 poodle shirts I wear around town and people ask me kind of, well, what is that? Or they don't, you know, they're trying to, the logo is still new, but you can see if you tell someone, hey, well, pull up the camera app on your phone, look at what this, you know, and they can start seeing that and make it um, just an added wow factor to, you know, just the experience. And I think that's a great way to, for new uh, people new into crypto world or even new into kind of augmented reality into virtual into to mixed wearables things like that nfts is a good way to educate them too and go like there's this whole other world there's a whole yeah, other exactly. level yeah. you know yeah so imagine uh um getting one of our poodle kicks right mm-hmm. 
and uh, opening up your phone and then now you could uh you could see the the price of the poodle token you know the current time or your amount of poodle in the in, the, in your wallet nice. or uh, you know just little updates and news coming out of uh, your wearables you know so now now we have apps coming into uh, the metaverse right we have like small little apps doing things so I, I think that's that's pretty interesting for for any crypto out there yeah but, uh for poodle yeah i think uh poodle's gonna have a lot of a lot of things coming but you know we can't really reveal a lot of that but yeah. I, i'm sure you know what's coming <laughs> yeah hey you know i i'm i i learn it as everybody else learns it so uh but this is one thing that i i absolutely love and i think that there's huge opportunities here and what i love about seeing uh the poodle admins really taking these steps into uh, you know, uh, let's call it into the unknown, but also the future. Uh, so let's get practical yes, now. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's get practical. Um, talk about how, um, you know, someone wants to buy this. So again, so they go, they get the NFT, they reach out to you, you make the actual, you know, sneakers and all and ship it to them. Like, can you talk about costs? Talk about, you know, what's production time, all of these things. If someone wants to be actually wearing these around town, what does that go? What's that like? Yeah, so uh, ours originally go for three hundred, and we're only doing uh, fifty-one pairs. Uh, that way, uh, we're doing fifty-one. That way, I could keep one, you know, <laughs> because uh, they're, they're they're really cool, you know. They're, they look really nice, and uh, they're way better than like what other people are doing out there. I think, you know, there, there's some expensive shoes out there for like two thousand dollars, and they just look like, you know, like a rabbit's freaking hide (laughs) (laughs) yeah but um but yeah uh you just go on open sea you could uh we're also trying to go on uh on bakery stop and go on the binance chain as well Mm -hmm. but we're just we're just all over the place kind of busy so but we'll eventually get there yeah so yeah you just get that reach out to us and and uh we'll get your We'll get your pair made, but it, it, it takes about, I'd say five hours, uh, each pair. Oh, wow. It's not um, bad. And another day for it to dry because we're using our own, uh, like our own, uh, like, uh, blends of paint and other, other, uh, liquids. And we're trying to stay within the, the eco-friendly, uh, zone. You know, we're not trying to nice. have a bunch of chemicals or spray paint them. Uh, people have said to spray paint them, you know, it'd make it much easier, but you know, then it just smells like paint. So, mm-hmm. and so, um, so talk about the quality, like how will they hold up? Are these intended to be uh, show pieces on a shelf or actually honestly, wear them until yeah. they're dead? Honestly, I, I would recommend just holding on to them, you know. Uh, but if you're like into fashion or you know, you got some, you like the whole swag, you know, you're, you're, you're into like the whole buying the the newest nike gear and adidas gear and all that you're one of those one of those heads uh yeah you're, you're definitely gonna want to wear them it's just uh they're just you know as they say in california they're they're sick you know <laughs> yeah hey we're both we're, i think we're we're both cali people i think uh oh awesome area, man. i'll, so I'll get over for lunch hey all right <laughs> no let, let's do it bring 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 the shoes over <laughs> so again tell people you, you, it's not it's not that you either wear them or uh or put them on a shelf you just buy two you you wear one keep one right there you go yeah there you go Don't. buy one keep one yeah but i, I would uh honestly we're, we're we are thinking of uh, encasing them you know uh but for now they're just being shipped you know in the, in the original nike box nice um but yeah we, we would like to uh encase them later on but yeah yeah this is awesome and it's great to see uh just you even going out and starting this this adventure you know and to we know that the you know the you know altcoin you know s- space is relatively new being able to get you know the binance chain and like a lot of these meme tokens are new so being able to yeah, I, I love i love that one that's one of my favorite uh things yeah, so, that's pretty cool so that's that's one of the like the nfts um that we're trying to work on so we're trying to make a little bit more uh, interactive mm-hmm. not just you know just floating you know pieces out there mm-hmm. we want we want these things to actually like do something or you know save some value so like they're they're basically little video games. That's that's all they are. They're just yep. small video games. 
Yeah, no, I, I love this. And because I can see even like when, when uh, Sasha was on uh, the show not too long ago and even just talking about how we could we could use this for, you know, real world scavenger hunts or doing good, you know, showing up at, a, at one of our charities and, you know, getting extra awards for people. There's so many opportunities that to do and use it and really gamifying uh, the meme token community. Right. And this is one thing that I've said is that a lot of what we do and why I love your product is that it's it's not just about an investment. Yes, we invest, but it's also about entertainment value. And that's really what a lot of this does. It brings added entertainment to something that we're already personally invested in, that we're already drawn to as something we want to see to do well. And again, those opportunities to build the brand. Are you seeing that with the things that you're doing? Talk about like the customers and what you're seeing, how they're getting invested into this. Have it a little bit. I don't know if that, that question makes sense, but I think you can see where I'm going with it. Yeah. Uh, we've seen, uh, you know, popularity amongst, you know, the NFT community, you know, the, the, the people that know the, the value of, uh, you know, uniqueness. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're seeing. A lot of people don't really see, you know, like, oh, they're just, uh, I could just get these, you know, from somebody else, you know, have them painted and all that for, you know, half the price. But yeah, that's just a painted shoe. You know, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're crypto kicks. We're, we're trying to, you know, have them infused. And, uh, you know, like I said, later, later on, you, you're, you'll eventually have your poodle kicks. Uh, I mean, uh, your, your poodle tokens on your poodle kicks. That is rad. No, I absolutely love that. Uh, so much possibilities here. So, um, but no, thank you for joining today and just, and coming on and talking about this. I'm looking forward to having you back on in the future, even, you know, six months from now, just imagine how this is going to grow the different opportunities. And this is really exciting to see while it's new because the possibilities are endless so this is fantastic yeah, for, for uh yeah for from what we've seen uh, we're working on uh, a few other uh, crypto projects out there but the poodle poodle token and the poodle community is just you know it's it's, it's a lot like i think like Fe, the feg community like they're really involved they really like the token they really like the, the community they really like being there you know mm -hmm. um but uh, I think, uh, yeah, Poodle's gonna do gonna do really well in this in this space, and they're they're basically tackling all all sides. Basically, they're trying to do video games, they're trying to do physicals, they're trying to do NFTs. They're doing everything right, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, we get a lot of you know DMs from a lot of like you know lower caps and you know shit coins, what you call them. But <laughs> you know, we we refuse those guys because they they just want the the trending value they just want like what's what's out there and what's trending just to get you know the funds and then you know that's mm -hmm. about it but yeah so we don't work with those people we try to work with the better communities that are just trying to like focus down the road you know yeah i love that and, and um and i like how that you're taking that that methodology because it is you know when you're doing something new it is really easy to want to say, Hey, um, anyone who will reach out to me who wants to use our product, I'm going to take their money. I'm going to do this. So the fact that you're saying, no, we're going to vet you a little bit, we want to, you know, we have different tokens we'll do, but we want to make sure that this is someone with a community, a brand, a forward vision. And is that kind of what you've noticed just in talking to the poodle people? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I've seen. It's just people just want to want to be part of something you know we're just naturally like that you know we just want to nobody nobody wants to be on the screen alone all day you know? <laughs> it gets boring you know but everyone yeah. wants to just get out there and just talk to somebody talk about what we're doing so now with your poodle gear and all this poodle stuff that's going to come out man we're just going to be poodles everywhere man yeah love it absolutely <laughs> love it Walk, walking our virtual poodles down the street oh that's how you do it that'd be kind of cool you got you wear the shoes out someone scans it and the little poodle appears next to you there we go we got the there memes go. like or, l's or memes some, you know yeah, the, or some information you know like on what it is that's that's where we see it but you know that's uh 
we gotta wait till bitcoin gets to back up to 60k <laughs> i think that happens tomorrow pretty sure that's on the docket for tomorrow no <laughs> yeah he called me the other day yeah he was telling me that too <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that be great uh no thank you so much for coming on um just to kind of yeah, close up it. do me a favor just tell everyone how they can get a hold of you how they find you uh and all that stuff yeah so uh, i'll just do like a few i'll give you guys a few slides of what we what we have right now um so that one's the you know the original poodle so there's only you know 20 pairs um out there now there's uh, i think there's 19. so nice. you can go on a uh, twitter and uh that's how you find us we're uh, crypto kick seven and I will put that, I think I've, I've added that to the uh, show notes here too. So everyone can find there. And then they just DM you for after they've got their little NFT, DM you and get you from there. Yeah, they, we just need the, the shoe size basically. And, uh, you know, the shipping. Um, awesome. uh, yeah, that's, that's eventually it. You just go to OpenSea and see our collections there. And uh, we'll show you guys some never before seen stuff. Nice, nice. I'm looking forward to seeing this this whole thing kind of take off. So, so thank you very much. Uh, very forward thinking. Uh, wish you also just just in general good luck and with yeah, your it. you know with this venture. I think you're well ahead of the game. And uh, you know, not to use not to make a pun out of game, but really you are so far ahead of it here. And I'm really excited to see it. I'm happy to see Poodle uh, well, I, partnering with you too. Go ahead. Yeah. I I think uh, I think we're all ahead of it. I think everyone that's in the crypto space right now is literally leading, you know, pushing the boundaries of of what we can do as a society. You know, it's not just Tesla, man. He's he's not the only one that's doing something. Yeah, we're all together. We're all we're all doing something. Uh, this is basically going to lead up to to you know stuff that we never even imagined, and that's that's what I'm trying to. That's eventually my goal, you know. But here's a, I don't know if you guys could see that that yeah. one right there. Yeah. So that's our newest design, and uh, it hasn't even came out yet, but we'll eventually post it on there. Nice, um, nice. That one's called Ayahuasca. Um, and we're also working with a lot of other NFT groups. Uh, so we see a lot of value in just wearables in general. Mm -hmm. um, just everyone just loves these uh, little, like, you know, these little artworks. You know, they look so cool, and, you know, they look even better on a shoe. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I absolutely love it so so far uh, ahead of the game with this and i think that this uh this is going to be something that completely changes the world i love that one that is rad yeah that one is pretty sick i was pretty pretty late and i don't even know how i just thought of that one <laughs> must have been like a mistake <laughs> that's rad oh i like that one too very, yeah that one's cool. really uh that one's complicated uh because you know we would have to get them from nike and these are these are like some expensive uh, shoes and can people come to you with kind of a unique idea if they have something they want to combine or maybe they yeah, we do do name? that we do do that but yeah it's just it just makes it more and more complicated mm -hmm. um that's why now we're trying to stick to the limited amount and just uh for for projects maybe just like 20 20 for for each uh design yeah. or we we just don't want to be too too busy yeah but no, busy is a good problem to have, right? No, you know, it's the other way around. That's not, no, oh, no, the, this is <laughs> so good. Um, and I love, I love your creativity. Oh, there we go. Another poodle one right there. Nice. Yeah. So that one uh, is, is uh, soon to come out. Um, but you know, we already have one, one. Uh, I love that. One customer for that one. I love that. All right. Um, all right. Now I got to, I got to get, get my mind thinking here. I love this. Um, so I do encourage everybody um, again, just get out there, visit them, talk to them. Uh, this is just a great way to kind of continue to build our brand and everything. So uh, with that, um, again, I'll post how to find you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming on. Any last words for everybody before I, I, I end the show, anything you want to say? Um, just, if you're into games if you're into just you know design and shoes and art you know then you know check us out we're, we're basically we're gonna make some pretty cool stuff and poodle's also gonna have some pretty cool stuff so check both of us out 
Awesome. I appreciate it, Joe. You have a, you have a good, uh, good rest of your day. All right. You too. And like I said, Hey, we're both around the, the area. So we'll have to meet up for some, uh, some good tacos and stuff around here. Yeah, so. man. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you so much. All right. Taking that off. You are off air there. So thank, Oh, that was just awesome. Um, I, I encourage everyone. This is really where we have talked about this over and over about how poodle is just not afraid to, uh, just push the limits, right? And just go into what is the unknown. And I think that that's really the difference. And I'm going to get to this next week. And this is the perfect lead up to that. Because again, how does this tie into why we changed our tokenomics back to 2%, you know? And, um, you know, and just as Jay was just talking, right? I mean, like you could, if you're going to bring up your wallet or use this for paying for things or create your own virtual world, well, we have to be able to compete in that world, right? And so this is what's important that we don't just look at this like a lot of early tokens did that maybe rose and then failed as they looked at this solely based on, hey, you know, here's our tokenomics, Wait, let all our tokens run out and now you've got you're wealthy. Well, yes, no, only if your brand is popular, right? Um, and so you've got to make people want it. And this is really what's cool to see the admins, to see this token really push the limits of what's going on and what's possible. So uh, with that, I hope you all enjoyed this show. Um, I will post it. You'll see it, uh, of course. Uh, make sure you subscribe. We have, just so you know, we've already, because we got our subscriber count up, where we've put in... Um, for being able to make this show monetized so that we can take all those proceeds and put them into our charity wallet. Uh, so it takes a little time for that to get approved, but we're on the way for that. Excited about that. All these other things that we've got going on. So um, just proud to be part of this community. You guys have a great week. We'll see you all next time.